Hey everybody, welcome back to Back Max I with your host Mac, myself, and today we're going to be doing a titration of my old sulfuric acid because I need to know what its concentration is. So the first thing that we're going to do is weigh out some sodium hydroxide according to some calculations that I did. And what I'm going to do is measure out around 2.4 grams. The next thing that I'm doing is measuring out some water so that we can make a one molar sodium hydroxide. And when I pour in the water, I also add the sodium hydroxide next. And eventually I'll fill up the line of that solution to the 50 milliliter mark, like that. And that makes a one molar sodium hydroxide solution that we can titrate the sulfuric acid with. Right here is my sulfuric acid of unknown concentration. So I'm just going to take around 2 milliliters of the acid and then put it into my flask. And this is known as the analyte. And this is what we're going to be analyzing the concentration of. And I'm adding a little water so that we can see the color change better. Here's a little phenolphthalein, the indicator that will turn pink when it's completely basic and the reaction is over. Here I'm also setting up an addition funnel because I don't have a proper burette to carry out this titration, but whatever, we can make do with that. Now I'm adding the one molar sodium hydroxide solution and I begin dripping it into our sulfuric acid solution. It's easy as that and I hate birds. Uh, anyway, now you can see a little bit of pink color change but also the flask was getting a little too full so I transferred it to another beaker and as the titration goes on uh, more of the acid is neutralized to form sodium sulfate that means there's going to be an excess of sodium hydroxide and we can tell that there are instantaneous moments of that because of the pink little flumes and eventually you add one more drop and swirl it and you've completely neutralized your acid. And that's what I believe I have done at this point. Let's see how much sodium hydroxide solution we used. And it looks like we've used 88 uh, milliliters because I actually used 100 milliliters of one molar sodium hydroxide solution, not just 50. Now that we did our experiment, let's figure out what the concentration of my sulfuric acid is with the data that we collected. We used 88 milliliters of one molar sodium hydroxide to neutralize the two milliliters of unknown concentration of sulfuric acid. The first thing we need to do to figure out the concentration of it is write out sulfuric acid's reaction with sodium hydroxide. When sulfuric acid is reacted with sodium hydroxide in a one to two molar ratio, it forms sodium sulfate and water. So. We start with what we know. 88 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. We turn the milliliters into liters. And then we use a conversion of the concentration of sodium hydroxide in one liter. And then the molar ratio in a reaction between sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. And then put it over the final volume of sulfuric acid. And we get moles over liters of sulfuric acid. But the problem is 22 molar sulfuric acid isn't really possible because 18 molar sulfuric acid is 98%. So what I've learned is that I'm wrong. That was trial one. And I'm sorry I didn't get you a successful run. But that's just how science goes, and I'm going to be trying this experiment again later on this week. If you want to know my sources of error, I think I used wet sodium hydroxide, so that gave a false mass. I also probably, because I used an addition funnel and not a burette, that probably helped me be wrong. And thanks for watching anyway. See you in the next video, and I'll have a mic.